Morgan, it is great to have you back with us here at Wolves. Has it been nice to regroup with the team over the past few weeks? Yeah, it's been wicked, you know. I uh, feel like it's been ages since I've seen the boys when it's only been a year. But uh, no, they're all welcome, as, as, as you know. Uh, but no, the training's been good. Uh, everyone's been getting on. The vibe is very good. And you know, well, we can't really moan out in the sun so yeah it is, it's going good it's beautiful here well you had an incredible season with Sheffield United 12 goals 10 assists player of the season you absolutely smashed it did you enjoy it yeah for me it was just a I just wanted to go there and get games you know and yeah. get experience under my belt um, and luckily enough I had a really good season um, I contributed to goals assists and I was really happy with my performances mm. when I was out there um, and fair play to the to the manager there and all the players because obviously they helped me they helped me reach that. Yeah. But no, like I said, it's a great group of lads out there, um, and I wish them all the best this season. But yeah, it was a good experience and just good to get games underneath my belt. Would you say it's your best campaign yet last season? Yeah, definitely. Just because I feel like I've matured as a player, mm -hmm. um, developed, got stronger. Uh, I know the game so much more now. Um, yeah, definitely my best campaign. Um, just because of the goals that I scored, yeah. the assists, you know, I just there were some like good I'm, ones in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just really feel like the the momentum since I've been back, the momentum's still still there, it's still going. So I just can't wait for the, the the friendly games to come on now. In what ways would you say that you have grown in this year since since we were at Marbella this time last summer? How how are you different now? Uh, like I said, I think I've matured as a player massively, um, on and off the field. You know, knowing when to recover. Um, what foods to eat properly? It really, it really does make a difference when you when you're playing every week. Yeah, you need to eat the right foods, recover properly. Um, I really knuckled down on that in the last season, um, and just getting game time. It really like, it really gives you that experience that you need. You know, knowing where the spaces are in games, finishing in front of crowds, um, and I feel like that's definitely improved my finishing. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking to take it into next season. Well, we're out here in Spain. The weather is beautiful. It is very hot at the moment as we're walking around it. <laughs> I'm sweating. Uh, yeah, they've put you to work in the past <laughs> few days though, haven't they? How's it been? Yeah, it's been unbelievable. Um, it's been really, really tough. Um, but that's granted, you know, it's pre-season pre for a reason to, to get back match fitness. Um, but no, nah, the gaff has been really good with us all. Um, he's given us a couple of afternoons off, which I feel like we all need, needed it. <laughs> um, but no, training the heat, it's obviously not nice, but it's obviously going to be good for us when we get back home. Uh, but no, the boys have been excellent training out here. Um, yeah. Have you been enjoying that free time as well? We've seen you all been watching Love Island and, and spending time together in the pool, that kind of thing. Lots of chill time too, as well as the hard work. Yeah, it works out perfect because whenever, <laughs> whenever, whenever we go away for pre-season, Love Island's on. So we have a little band, a little clique that sits in the physio room every night uh, and watches Love Island. Um, but no, it, it, I mean, stuff like that, it, like, it brings us together more. Yeah, it's nice. You know, um, it creates that bond in the, in the team. Uh, so it's a shame some of us don't watch it. <laughs> they, they, they all think it's the worst show ever, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Are you looking forward to the friendlies next week as well? Yeah, I can't wait. You know, this is this is what we train for. You know, we train we train to play games, and even when the season starts, the the whole week you build up training to play games. But uh, no, I'm really excited. You know, it's obviously different opposition, mm -hmm. different opposition from different leagues. Um, so you know, we'll see how they do. But mainly, it's for us to get used to. To playing with each other again mm -hmm. and that build, building that strong relationship that we already have have on have on the pitch but no we're really looking forward to it and you know it's just about getting our fitness back up ready for when the season starts well it's gonna be lots of wolves fans that have flown out here to spain as well would it be nice to play back in front of a wolves crowd again yeah of course it's always <laughs> nice it's always nice coming back home and playing in front of a wolves, wolves crowd uh, i don't know how many will be out here but you know we always appreciate the support um wherever they travel and wherever they go it's always appreciated uh, but yeah, no, we're looking forward to the games and just want them to get started now. Yeah, yeah. Well, looking ahead to these next few weeks and months then, what is your main focus now? Uh, my main focus is just getting back fit. Mm -hmm. um, getting back fit, trying to prove to the manager, um, you know, why I should be here, why I want to play every week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just, just mainly, mainly fitness um, and just keeping that momentum going that I had last year. Because I feel like it's yeah. going to be a big season ahead for me. 
um, personally. Uh, and like I said, I've got to keep that momentum coming into the season. Well, thank you very much, Morgan, and all the best for the rest of pre-season. Thank you.